So I've got a problem. I keep having to do A3 and A4 sublimation and it just doesn't cut it. So I want to do large format sublimation and mass scale much bigger items than A3 or A4 sublimation. And if you want to see how it's done, keep watching. So the reason why I'm changing to sublimation in uh, this printer uh, is that I found a gap in the market to explore the sublimation. And also that we'll be getting a lot of requests saying, can we change the ink uh, in our printers without damaging the head uh, or incurring too many costs? And yes, you can, it can be done. Um, and you can change from water-based to sublimation to eco-solvent, and it's not too much of a problem. And this is why we've got the AM technician here, just to show us exactly how it's done. We're putting uh, the tissue down there to prevent any spillage going down to the data cables and causing any damage to any of the circuits. The technician's gone to the back of the printer just to disconnect all of the ink tanks and stop the flow of ink coming towards the head area so we can pull through the pipes. So we've disconnected the pipe at the back of the, the ink tank and now we are slowly just draining the ink through the pipe so we can empty them to pull them out of the printer. The next step of the process is to remove the filters um, from the pipe to the ink tank. So we're just loosening one of the clamps that are holding down the pipes for the, um, the ink, and it's just so we can carry on pulling the pipes through. So this is the ink from this printer here, it is eco-solvent. And I've also got another eco solvent printer, so I'm not going to waste. I'm going to pour this into the other ink tanks just so I can carry on using it. So we're going to throw this away. Reason being is once we've taken everything out um, and you've left it, it possibly may dry inside the pipes. And that being said, it then becomes useless anyway. So we are going to throw these away unfortunately but we have to uh, now that that's done we've removed everything that we don't need anymore so we're now going to put new tanks in new pipes and new dampeners as well as filters and then we don't have to take the head out we're going to leave it as it is and then do a manual flush to clean out the head so we can introduce the new ink so now we put the tanks in there now we just need to attach the filters and the pipes together and then to the tanks Cool, so next step is installing the dampeners uh, and then after that we'll be putting ink through the pipes and then uh, flushing the head. So now we're just uh, pulling the ink through the pipes and uh, making sure that we pull the ink all the way through into the dampeners and then flush it through the head. So all we have to do now is just to flush the head clean it a bit, then we can do some test prints and then ink change done without too much of a hassle. AN.co.za stocks a great variety of inks for all your printing needs. LED UV inks for high quality UV printing. Screen printing inks for screen printing. Sublimation inks for heat press applications and echo solvent inks for large format canvas and vinyl printing. Water-based inks for paper printing. And DTG textile pigment ink for garment printing. Our inks come in various sizes for your convenience. From 100 millimeters to one liter. We stock cleaning solution for everyday use as well as Epsom liquid for print head lubrication. So, whatever your printing needs are, you can be sure to find a suitable solution all under one roof, right here at am.co.za.
Now that I've got sublimation ink on my large format printer, now I can print roll to roll sublimation. And from that, I can do so much more doing sublimation. Shirts, masks, buffs, jackets, anything really. It's just limitless. The type of paper I'm using has a special coating on the one side and just a normal paper backing on the other. And this uh, sublimation paper that I'm using is 95 GSM. You can get 115 to 130 GSM. It's all a matter of personal preference. But this is just normal sublimation paper, except now it's not on flat sheets. It is now roll to roll. And I can also print up to 1.5 meters in width, which allows me to do a lot more than an A3 sublimation printer or an A4. And once the print is finished, it's off to go and have it heat pressed onto material. Just like you would have a heat press on a single item, except it's now on a larger surface with a really big heat press. And there is nothing wrong with outsourcing this part of the job. After all, it's the final product that counts, right? In 2020, we celebrate eight years in business, heading toward infinity and beyond. am.co.za. Achievement matters.